Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes, and this is a WBZ News Update. In Hingham, police are searching for two men who tried to steal from an ATM by actually ripping it out of the ground. Police say the suspects put a chain around the ATM. They were trying to pull it away with their SUV. Police arrived at the Bank of America on Sergeant William B. Terry Drive in Hingham, and that's when the suspects drove away. After a short chase, the two men ditched the SUV in the Bradley Park neighborhood and took off running. The ATM is damaged, but the men didn't get away with any money. The National Weather Service confirms it was an EF1 tornado that touched down in Dublin, New Hampshire during Thursday's severe weather. EF1 tornadoes pack winds of up to 95 miles an hour. This tornado splintered trees, blocked roadways, and brought down power lines. There were no injuries reported from that big storm. And there's good news and bad news for T riders. On Saturday, the B branch of the Green Line is going to reopen after a 12 day closure for track work. But Green Line service will be suspended between Government Center and North Station. Orange Line trains will also bypass the Haymarket stop during that time. These adjustments will allow crews to continue working on the demolition of the Government Center garage. That will be lasting through August 9th. We do have some good news, though. We are getting a break in the heat, but Jacob, not before we have a little bit more drama for Mother Nature. Exactly, yeah. Saturday will be pretty busy with some oppressive heat and also the potential for some severe storms. We do have that storm threat most of the day Saturday, but if we were to kind of shrink that timeline just a little bit, I think the worst of the storms will likely be between about 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Damaging winds, isolated tornadoes all in the cards for us heading into tomorrow. So we're watching that storm threat kind of blossom up as we go later into the afternoon, leaving us with dry conditions heading into Sunday. So we just have to get through a little headache to get to the payoff, which is a fantastic end of the weekend. The area shaded in yellow, the area that we're expecting to see the worst of the conditions. That's the severe threat. We also have the heat index that will approach 95 plus degrees as you go into the afternoon on Sunday. And currently we're still in the mid to low 90s for some of those heat index values. The important thing is we're dry right now. The morning shower chance is this little system swinging through parts of the mid Atlantic at the moment. And then we have another line that will swing through parts of the Great Lakes and eventually end up in our area for tomorrow afternoon. 70 for an overnight low tomorrow. We're back into the upper 80s in spots. I think right along the coastline will be a little bit cooler, but we do have that storm threat that we're watching very, very closely. So our seven day forecast features a nice Sunday. I'm also eyeing up Wednesday for a fantastic day. Morning lows in the 50s, afternoon highs in the mid 70s with a good bit of sunshine. I mean, that's picture perfect to start out August. Lisa. Couldn't be nicer. Jacob, thanks so much. And thank you for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great weekend.